Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We are opening up two blaster boxes of 2020 or 21-22 Donruss basketball. Uh, these were from uh, Target on their uh, online store. I also saw them at um, Meyer and at Walmart, uh, but these were the cheapest. They were 25 bucks, I believe, um, ship. Whereas in uh, Walmart, there's 27, and I want to say Meyer has them at 35, so that's uh, crazy. Yeah, 35 is a bad price, but honestly, these things, Dunruss, the hobby stuff, they don't make as much of it, seems, as other products. Um, yeah, that is it's, very it's true. It's not like hoops where they just kind of like run the presses on this stuff, and the retail also seems to dry up pretty quickly, um, yep. but they definitely make more of the retail. Now, they do have the uh, orange lasers and the purple lasers uh, out of 99 and out of 15. So there's some cool stuff that you can get. I believe that there are also non-numbered. Yeah, the base hollow orange laser is one of the things that you can get. So we have 11 packs, 8 cards per pack. And the base rookies and stuff out of here have been doing pretty well in the secondary market. I am a much bigger fan of these rookies than the hoops. Personally, like if I wanted to collect something, I would take. Yeah, the rated rookies are definitely a little more attractive than the than the hoops. They they just have a better look to them overall. I oh, agree. There's the orange. So is it one orange per pack, basically? I have no idea. I don't watch many videos of this, so not really sure. Edwards rated rookie and a Tim Hardaway orange. They do look nice though. Yeah, Those the are lasers are really nice. Pretty looking. dang cool. Yeah, I guess so. There's another orange in here, so. I thought it was that way before, but but maybe not. Let us know in the comments year, yeah. below. Yeah, tell us uh, if that's right, because we didn't open up a ton of uh, Don Ross last last year. Rated rookie Jared Butler, definitely not the rated rookie you're looking for, but. Yeah, but cool. still, rated rookie. Yeah, Kaminga, Cunningham, Giddy, uh, obviously Green, Franz Wagner, all those guys are up there. Um, this one does not have it, so they're not every pack. Yeah, not every pack. Maybe those are the only ones you get. Maybe. Uh, here we have a, and Scotty Barnes is the other guy. That's not Scotty Barnes, but one rated rookie per pack. Then the inserts, uh, complete players, much like any other set, they do not have the same inserts as Hobby. The Hobby inserts, you have the Net Marvels and all those sets. Right, yeah, you. those are sweet. Yep. Yeah, and here you do not. Orange laser in this pack. So maybe if you don't get an insert, you get an orange laser. Yeah, some years the inserts out of these retail are better than the hobby. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think these are. No, I don't think these are either because those Marvel ones are actually very uh, they're sought after. Cool, yeah. yeah, nice looking cards. Um, Clay, there's a Miles McBride. I know some people kind of like him, and then a Marcus Smart, probably just because he's a Nick. Next pack. You can also get autographs and stuff out of here. I don't believe that you can get the next day autos. Those are like the most sought after ones yeah. out of the set. Uh, very, very cool looking. But those are only in hobby, and those are tough to pull in hobby as well. So the Dunrus choice boxes that they made of this uh, set actually turned out pretty good. Those things look solid. The um, choice boxes? Yeah, they're like 400 bucks, but you got a couple of autos in each one. Uh, there's some good autos, like 502 Frank pulled the Franz. So. Definitely some yeah. uh, interesting value there. Zaire Williams, not the worst one. And a Jonathan Kaminga, yeah, great nice. expectations. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so basically it does look like if you don't get an insert, you get an orange, which is that's pretty good. So you get a lot of orange lasers. Those are very sought after if you get the right rookie. Um, just like the green and yellow are out of the value packs. Um, yeah, or just a bigger name star too. Yeah. Those do oh, well. yeah. Uh, yeah. Shea. But it's a pretty big checklist, so hard to pull. Yeah, how big it usually says in the side of the box how big the checklist is. Three two hundred and fifty card set. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. It's not like hoops. Yeah, no. Hoops is crazy. Um so you have all the tribute cards as well. Isaiah Livers. Not the right piston. I think he went to Livers. I'm pretty sure Livers went to I'm not gonna say. I wanna say went to Michigan, but maybe it was a different different guy that I'm thinking. Oh, no, that name does sound Doesn't familiar. Yeah, I'm Michigan? pretty sure. So. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Pretty sure. But uh, March Madness has been a ton of fun to watch. I've been watching a lot of March Madness games. St. Pete. Peters. Yeah, St. Peters. <laughs> Raider rookie. James Booknight. <clears throat> yeah. Tough. 
last pack. So I'm guessing the orange lasers would probably not be as valuable as the green and yellow because you only get one green and yellow per value pack and you get a bunch of them in here. Sometimes so. that doesn't really seem to matter though. Sometimes it just seems to be like what people think are cooler. That is true. The um, man. Yeah, it's not always just the supply and demand. Sometimes it's just <laughs> look. Yeah, I mean, those, that was okay. Uh, the orange lasers. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm, I'm going to look up what the orange lasers sell for because I'm curious as to, like, well, if you get, let's say you get, like, a Kate or one of the better names, what, right. is it, what are you actually getting out of it? Yeah, let us know also in the comments below. Have you pulled an autograph out of these? Have you opened up a bunch of these blaster boxes and did you pull an auto? Um, there's a little security thing in there. Uh, empty box. Let's see what we get out of this one. So a Cade Orange does in between, f like, right about 50 bucks on average, probably. Okay, yeah. And his green and yellow does slightly higher. The green and yellow is more like 65 to 70, so not a huge difference. but Yeah, but right now I'm guessing this is that um few of the green and yellow out there we got the same there's a lot of them <laughs> right i got the same one i i'm saying there's a lot of green and yellows out there oh there is okay oh, yeah, there's, yeah. Them. there's been at least 30 sold and there's probably another yeah this stuff will get ripped like crazy i'm sure another 40 listed so definitely a lot of the stuff, uh, most of the stuff I'd probably sell right away just because I don't, they make so much of this stuff now with the retail. I, I, don't know, I, I have a hard I'm, time holding it. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that what we said about this product in the past is not going to hold this year. I'm guessing they're going to still make a bunch of this more than they did last year. Yeah. Uh, I would guess. Just so everybody can get their hands on some retail, but. Yep. And, and that's why no rated rookie in that. If pack. you're like PCing somebody from this class, I would highly recommend if you have the budget to uh, chase autographs or serial number cards and not non numbered parallels. Yeah, if you can get your hands on some for a decent price, right? Yeah. Yep. So sorry, showed off that back card, but um, the pack would not rip right. I think we're livers. getting like all the same guys in our rookies so far. Yeah, we far. got Sayer Williams and Livers, so which is tough. weird. Um, we didn't really get any good ones last time, so hopefully it's not yeah. the same. But let's take a look here. I'm curious to see because I, I, I want to say last year you got like a jersey card in one of these. I want to say you did, yeah. Unless that was hoops, but maybe. I feel like Dunruss you did too, though, because I sold Dunruss like Kobe White jerseys. And yeah. Stuff, so. Here's a Raider rookie, mm -hmm. Isaiah Todd. So a different Raider rookie there. Um, uh, Isaiah Todd seemed to pull a lot of his stuff. He's definitely not a, a hot player. Now that, yeah, there's a, the the rookie class this year definitely is de not getting the hype that, there's a Scotty Barnes, that's not bad. Um, it's not getting the hype that, uh, you know, it has in the past. But some of these players, who knows? They still sell pretty well. So this isn't... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the rookies. Boy, that thing is so miscut. Mm, maybe not. No, I don't think so. It looks like this border, though, is real thick on that, the left side, but maybe not. Um, well, anyways... It just appears that way because there's no border on the other side. Like, that's, if you look at the bottom part, I mean, it's a little left yeah. left to right off, but it's not like... Yeah, it's maybe, it's, maybe it's not horrible. Um, but these are hard to pull. I don't. I think that's the first one I pulled out of any of the packs I've opened of uh, Don Ross basketball. I actually don't like that. That the uh, like they don't have a border all the way like. That's yeah, weird. I don't know. It does. Yeah, it, it does look odd. Look odd. Maybe that's why I thought it was more miscut. It than is. It, was. it is slightly off centered, but it's not like insane. PJ, t boy, we are just not getting very good names out of those orange. Yeah, but no big name vets so far. That's the <laughs> risk you take when you open up boxes and packs. I would like to get a few more packs, but I definitely don't want to pay the Meyer price. And um, uh, Target, I think, has the cheapest value pack prices, but you can only get those in store, and we don't have a Target close to us. And every time we go to the one that's the closest to us, it doesn't really have anything good. It's usually wiped out. Um, Jones and 
Star. Wah, wah, wah. All right. right, so three more packs. Let's see if we can get some good name out of here. Still have hardly gotten a good rookie name either. The value packs are nice because you get like three rookies or four rookies in each um, pack. So that's actually quite a good Yeah, because you get buy. like four rookies per blaster in this. Right. So, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of these. I would say value packs are maybe the way to go. I mean, you get if you get them at seven bucks a pack, you know, you get almost four, yeah, like four packs here to the same price. You get a lot more rookies. Um, the rookies are tough. Baisley, yeah, they're very tough. It's Bassy or Bassy, sorry. Yes. Baisley, I, I added, before I added an shoot. L to his name. Yeah, yeah, right. He was a couple years ago. Darius. All right, so last pack. Let's see if we can hit one of the top rookies. We, so we we got the Scotty Barnes insert and then a Kaminga insert. Yeah. But other than that, Ricky Rubio, get out of here. All right. Let's see. Guard. Definitely is not a rookie. No, it's definitely not a rookie. <laughs> not a not a bad name, Bane. Those but blasters yeah. are pretty brutal. Yeah, ours are pretty bad. Let us know what you, what you've pulled out of yours. Um, did you do quite a bit better than we did? Because we obviously did not do well. Um, I highly recommend the value packs after seeing these. Um, the, to me, more fun to rip more packs and get a lot more rookies than to get a couple yeah. rookies and pay a lot more money and get orange veterans. So, anyways, let us know in the comments below. Are ours just dud boxes, or or is this what you've seen on other openings as well as what you've opened yourself? Check out Target.com. Last I knew, they still had these in stock. Um, and also, just check your retail stores. I have a feeling that some of the value packs and stuff may hang around for a little bit. I don't know that for sure, but it always seems like some of these products kind of linger in some locations other locations you can't find cards period we understand that but thanks for watching guys hopefully you're doing well we will see you in the next video take care have fun collecting please like comment and subscribe see you soon